Hey, welcome to this video and uh, today on July 14, 2015, we are Patch Tuesday. Yep, that time of the month, once again, second Tuesday of each month when Microsoft issues updates. And so Patch Tuesday for Windows 8 was really, really filled up with lots and lots of security issues. So um, it's very important to do the uh, updates. I updated my computer about an hour ago. Total updates were um, 200 megabytes. That's a pretty big update, actually. And it was 29, in my case, was 29 updates. But, you know, um, I have activated to update uh, also software from Microsoft, like Microsoft Office. So uh, depending on your computer, you can have anything from about um, 16 to 29, 30 different updates for this Patch Tuesday. So uh, here, when we take a look at uh, the updates that I got here for Patch Tuesday, you can see all of these that were installed today, uh, July 14th, on my Windows 8.1 computer. Um, of these updates, it actually fixes a total of um, something like 57 security bulletins. Um, and there are four of the bulletins that are rated as critical. That means you have to really, really install these updates uh, as soon as possible. Um, there's um, Internet Explorer security bulletin with uh, some vulner vulnerabilities in um, version 6 through 11. There's like 29 flaws of different sources for Internet Explorer that are actually um, fixed here. And uh, most of them are memory corruption vulnerabilities that could result in remote code execution. User viewing a specially crafted web page using Internet Explorer could allow an attacker to exploit these uh, flaws to gain the same user rights as a current user. So it means they could do pretty much everything they want. Another one addresses a flaw in VB script, uh, scripting engine in Microsoft Windows. Remote code execution uh, flaw exists in the way that the VB script engine, when rendered in Internet Explorer, handles objects in memory. So once again, remote code execution stuff. Uh, there's another one that's uh, Windows, Microsoft Windows Remote, Remote Desktop Protocol (RDP) uh, that. Uh, can be exploited also and uh, that person can actually access full privileges in Windows with meaning they could do whatever they want once again and uh, also another one about Hyper-V flaw these uh, flaws exist in Windows Hyper-V in a host context if an authenticated and privileged user on a guest virtual machine hosted by Hyper-V runs a special crafted application and of course, you can uh, use these to uh, do whatever you want. Then there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten important uh, bulletins. So the important bulletins means that these are not the worst flaws. It means that it requires a minimum of you know usually important means that they actually need some kind of access to your computer in order to run this, meaning that most people don't have that access, uh, mostly from the machine itself. And so there are many, many different uh, problems, uh, flaws uh, in Windows requiring an attacker to first place, especially crafted the uh, DLL file, stuff like that. Uh, usually it needs your kind of your attention. So for example, that DLL file, it could be that you download something and then install it and have that DLL file. But as you can see, the, the, the reason they say it's important is because you have to do something to actually have these flaws. So it is less, uh, it is dangerous, but you know, there's less chance that it might happen if you are careful with your computer. Uh, there's a lot of stuff, uh, six flaws in the Windows kernel mode drivers, um, Windows installer has one, and so on. So, you know, a lot of these uh, updates um, fix all sorts of little flaws in Windows 8. Very important to 
actually install them. Uh, so I would suggest that if you um, haven't already done it yet, why not just go into your little search there in the Windows 8 type Windows Update, click Windows Update to get there. If you have that little window that says Windows 10 Upgrade Reserved, just go on the left side, check for updates, let the computer uh, search for them. You should have, like I said, anywhere from about 16 to uh, 30 updates, depending on the config of your machine and the software that you have installed. And just install all of them. From what I've seen yet, nobody really complaining of anything special. Uh, so, um, as usual, I always install these first so I can tell you that everything went well on my case. 200, about 200 megabytes download in my case and um, went well, installed in about 10 minutes, not even. And then when it rebooted, everything was fine. So uh, I don't think there's any flaws here in this patch Tuesday right now. So go ahead, install these and make sure that your computer is as secure as possible. It's very important. Uh, remember that all of these updates will help you um, probably, you know, avoid something like 80% or 90% of computer infections. Uh, that's why updates are very important. They fix a lot of flaws in Windows and um, especially this month, there's really a lot of stuff to patch. If you enjoy our videos, want to subscribe to our channel, you'll be informed when new videos are online. If you have any comments, questions, anything, let us know and hopefully you enjoy our videos. Thank you for watching.